guys, this is Zyxide. I'm here to make a tutorial video about uh, how to show you guys how to make these double doors here. Uh, Two-way double door, double pressure plate doors. Um, if I'm not the first one to make this on YouTube, um, well, my bad, but I couldn't find it. So once I figured it out, I thought I'd make a video about uh, how to show you how to do it. So here's how they work. Um, here's the pressure plates right here. And there's the two doors. They open, you step on them walk through and they open and then close behind you and on the inside they're the same thing two pressure plates these ones are just wooden because I match the floor walk through they open and close behind you um, there's a reason why they're not super close to the door and you'll see why later um, I will walk you through how to make them uh, I will not be including uh, more reasoning as to shut up cow I will not be including reasoning as to how the redstone works or why it works because I quite honestly don't know. I had to do a little bit of research to try to figure out how this works myself. So yeah, uh, here we go. Okay guys, here we go. Uh, this is the site that I've chosen to build this demo. Seriously? Cow? Seriously? Oh. No shit. So, anyway, this is the site that I've chosen to build my door demo. Um, the area for it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 wide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 long. Um, it can be 6 long if you are time or uh, space constrained. You can do it with 6 by 6. Uh, however, for symmetry sake, you should do it with seven. Um, and then it has to be one, two, three deep. Um, sun's going down here, but I have torches, so this should be still seeable. Um, so to begin with, we'll make the platform that the uh, doors will be sitting on. So we'll start with just some dirt here for simplicity. Doors will be directly across the center, so in the center, so basically the, th the fourth one up from the uh, We're assuming that this is going to be the front of the doors, um, or the front of the house, whatever you're going to be building it for. Um, so the doors will be here. So I'll we'll place this here so I can place these doors. Now you'll want to uh, start with these so that the doors actually face the, direct, the correct direction. So we'll place the doors down. Oops. Now if you did it right, they should open in this fashion. If you forgot those blocks, one may they may open on the same axis, which you do not want. You want them to open like this so that you can walk through the center and not have an issue. Um, uh, that there. Now, um, just for the sake of demonstration, I will show you that when you put pressure plates in front of the two doors, uh, the left, or I'm sorry, the right door has a default position of being open while there is a pressure plate attached. So when you step on it, it closes, which is what causes the issue of having a double pressure plate door, which is why you require some wiring, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you ran into that thing, uh, that same problem. So. Um, this does not allow, this tutorial that I'm going through does not allow the pressure plates to be that close to the door just because of the way the wiring is. The pressure plates actually have to be right here on this side, which would be the front. And on the back, they need to, they need to be either here on these two or on these two. Um, for symmetry's sake, I'm going to put them here. However, during the wiring, you can put them there if you are uh, within within that space uh, constraint. So, to begin with, I'm going to show you how to reverse the two door or reverse the right door. Uh, so, in order to do that, we'll use redstone torches. So, directly underneath where the two doors would be. So this is this one is directly underneath the right door, and this one is directly underneath the, the uh, left door. Um, you will put them on blocks of dirt, 
so that they will both be lit currently. Um, so we'll change that soon. So directly under the pressure plates on this side, put two more blocks of dirt. And we will, just for demonstration purposes, I will wire these. Make a full circuit. Now, leaving it like that, as you can see, it reverses both doors. So both torches are on, it reverses and puts the left door open and the right door closed until you step on it and then it flips them obviously. Um, so what you need to do now is to reverse using a redstone torch. So this is the third and final redstone torch you'll need to do this circuit. So now once that is placed there, it reverses one side. So now when you step on it, both doors open. Um, so once you have that, you know you're doing good so far. Uh, of course now on the other side they don't work. So you have to connect these two uh, pressure plates. So put two more blocks of dirt down. And then wire them like so. These two are directly underneath these pressure plates. When you press on this side, they open, and when you press from this side, they open. So, there you have it. Opens from both sides and uses only pressure plates, no switches, nothing like that. And now, of course, you can just fill in this top layer, and you can leave the bottom uh, just fully open. Oops. Now, um, being that the pressure plates are so far away from the door, you will have to basically force them to walk over the pressure plates in some way as you're using fences or just blocks in general. Because of course if you have this on the outside of a house like so, people will want to walk up to the door and of course they do not open so they use this. Now if you're using metal doors they can do that. So what I suggest is to just go like so, on both sides, and just kind of basically force them to walk over it. If they screw up, well, they don't deserve in your house because it's pretty easy to do. So, there you have it. Uh, double pressure plate, two-way, double, uh, double doors all the way across the sky. Thanks for watching.